springtime. It might not look the part just yet, but it's here. To keep the snow shelf above the chimney from giving way and possibly damaging the braces, I decided to clear it by hand. I thought I'd start the day off by clearing some of the snow off the roof because it was starting to come up against these braces and I didn't want uh, the snow pressing down on them so hard that they began to bend them. But they're looking good. I don't see any bending. They still look nice and straight. The chimney's up and down. The only damage that I see is this collar has been pushed down a little bit, but that's not really that big of a deal. Now the real work can begin. First to finish the gable cladding and then to install the windows on the main floor.
I'd like to take a moment to thank Harry's for sponsoring this episode and for helping to support small creators like myself. Harry's is a personal care brand that has reinvented the way you shave, helping you to shave in a premium, hassle-free way. They stand behind their blades so much that they have a 100% money-back guarantee. The main reason I switched to Harry's over a year ago now is because I love the quality of their blades and how easy it is to get refills delivered straight to my door. Plus, I love their foaming shaving gel. It's smooth and smells better than my cologne. Harry's continues to support great causes as they give 1% of their global sales to nonprofit organizations that provide mental health care to those in need. For a limited time, Harry's has made their exclusive offer even better for my viewers. 71 and 3 quarters. New U.S. customers can get a Harry's trial set and a free travel size body wash for just $3. That's over a $16 value for just $3 when you sign up. You'll get a 5-blade razor, weighted handle, foaming shaving gel, a travel cover, and a travel size body wash. It's an incredibly great deal, but act fast while supplies last. Go to harrys.com slash outsider to redeem your offer. Now that the gable was complete, we were just about ready to begin work on the windows. But first, I needed to grab the remainder of a cedar I felled last week so that I could bring it back to the cabin site before the thaw. Since the snowpack was already beginning to fall through, this would be my last chance to reach it with a snowcat. Now to install the windows, we'd first need to make the inner frames for them, and to make them, we'd have to mill them. This meant we'd have to scrounge for whatever logs we could find, from those we left a season in the summer but were buried in winter, the first of which spring was only just beginning to reveal.
probably the biggest. Look at that. In the short while that we were gone, the cabin had cast off its heavy winter blanket. Only a small amount of snow remained in the Dormer Valleys. That didn't sound good. Seems like the blade struck a piece of metal in the log. Well, there's the problem. I think it's time for a blade change. Now let's try this again. Now that I had the material, all I had to do was fit the inner frames in place, and then the windows could follow.
Although the windows were now technically in, they still needed to be leveled and shimmed before we could secure them in place. Well, as you can see, we now have most of the windows in on the main floor of the cabin, save one window, but they're all leveled up. We've got them nicely shimmed, and what's left is for us to spray foam around the edges of the windows just to close up those gaps, and then we'll trim around the window frames just to give it that nice finished look. But I love the look of these windows. I bought them used for $400 Canadian. I bought five of them. So I think it's a real steal of a deal, uh, considering the shape that these windows in. They're in great condition, and I just love the look of them. Uh, I think these are the quintessential log cabin window look with the grid pattern. I even like that they're white vinyl, uh, as opposed to the wood framed windows, which was my first choice initially. But I like the white vinyl because it gives a freshness to the cabin, and it contrasts the warmer hues of the logs surrounding the windows. Although we wanted to spray foam the windows today so that we could trim them out, we decided to wait until warmer weather since the foam won't expand as well in these cooler temperatures. So we decided to call it a day. That's it for now. Until next time, my friends. Stay safe, be well, and God bless.